Hi guys, this tutorial is on how to make Isabel Lightwood's bracelet whip, um, like this one here. You will need some rope, preferably white or if you can find gold rope, perfect. You will need, if you can't find gold rope, it has to be thin though. Gold texture and you'll need a black texture as well. Also need scissors and two to three colours of cotton. With this one here, I have used an ink colour and a metallic yellow. Now I know some of you might not have those colours, but it's for you to suit you. So, yep. Okay. So, first off, we're going to need to colour our rope. So, you'll get your gold texture if you don't can't find any or other colour that you like. So we're, all we're going to do is get our texture, whatever colour you want, as in the book, she's got a gold whip, so, and we're just going to simply colour this in. Um, you can make the whip as long as you want, the longer the better I think, as it is easier to make into a bracelet then. But, you have to make sure that you leave at least 35 centimeters of white at the end to color in black. made this all up last night so bear with me I have only just written out a quick step list as I did this all about half 12 at midnight so just bear with me okay. so once we've done that we're going to move on to the handle. Now I'm not going to make this a handle in this tutorial but I'll show you how I have done to make this handle. Let me zoom in. I'll show you how I have done this. Just quickly with wool. Alright? Not to mention, but if you have a clipboard, a clipboard would be very helpful with this. So I've got one here. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to do a demonstration with the wool of how you're going to do it. So we went. If you are a beginner, I would recommend two different colours for the handle as it is easier to navigate with and see where you are. So, see here I've got I have got a blue and a green wool. So, how I did the, bra the handle part is 
over the green, did it under the whip, so the gold rope, over top of the blue. Then I got the blue, went over top of the gold, and went through that little hoop that I made over here. So it should end up like that with a, kind of like a knot, but with the rope in the middle. And then, like that. So this, for the second one, we do, we will always continue on with the green. So you go under and over the blue. Blue goes over and through the loop. Now you're going to have to do this very tightly as you don't want it to come undone. So under and over. Over and through. So that's pretty much all I do for the first half is go back. 13 centimeters, which is roughly the size of a texture or a pen or something, um, for the handle, as it fits nicely into someone's hand. Okay, once we've got enough, once we've got enough, we're going to untape, pin it, and we're going to make, so with this extra black part that we coloured in, we're going to flip it around and make like a loop part there. Then we're going to simply just go like that. Under. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We are going to do the same what we did with this one, just going back up towards here again. So you go under, over, over, through. This part may be a bit tricky as this bit here, when it gets to the end it will get shorter and you'll find it a little bit difficult. So under, over, over, through. Oh, and I forgot to mention, with the one that I have made, I used two strands on one thing like this. So it was a black or an ink colour and a metallic on both sides. As you get more practice with, if you want you should practice with wool like this first or any thicker type string just to get a hang of this. If you are spot on with this, you can work your way into using two colours, two of the same colours. It's a little bit difficult, but it looks more effective. When you get up to the end again, if you have glue, I'd recommend you use glue and stick the end, both ends down seeing that I don't have glue here, we're going to have to tie really tight knots. So, yeah, you will figure out how to do the knots. You're probably better off leaving two bits like this at the end, so you can tie the knots together with these parts. 
and then tie them as hard as you can so they do not come undone. But that's pretty much all it is and I think it looks really effective. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you try this out. Like I said, I just made it up on the spot last night and yeah, I'm yeah. Thank you. If you like, can you please give me a thumbs up and the feedback? I've never done a tutorial before, so I don't know really anything. But hope you enjoyed this.